My name is Fantastic Negrito. There's only one Fantastic Negrito in the world, and I'm here in West Oakland. It's 34th and San Pablo. Come on in. Look at this place. One of the most important things in this little creative room, it's like being in the inside of a genie bottle. That's how I like to think of this room. Um, it's this couch, this love seat, this settee. Now I got this when I was um, growing a lot of weed, a lot of legal marijuana. And the building I was doing it in was very close to Goodwill. And so I traded this Set T for a, I think it was an eighth of some very good um, high grade OG Kush. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just had a baby and I wasn't a musician then. I quit. I wasn't doing any music. I came from LA, moved back to, to Oakland, and I quit music. Started growing a lot of uh, medical marijuana and um, traded this couch for an eighth. I put it in the room of my newborn, and I hadn't been playing music for five years. I had sold all my equipment. So one day, my beautiful newborn, well, he was about nine months then, couldn't sleep, was pretty cranky, just sad face. And I was like, wow, let me do the daddy faces, and they didn't work. So I looked over at this orange couch, and there was one cheap guitar underneath the couch that I hadn't sold. Cheap guitar. And I just thought in a moment, I reached down, I picked up the guitar, I, I looked at him and I just played the chord that I could remember, a G. And I remember his face turned from this frown, it exploded into this big smile, much better than what I just did. And that day, I stopped my five year self imposed. Uh, what they call it, exile from music, and I started playing again. And I would play for my son every day. I didn't know I was gonna be a musician again. I didn't know there was gonna be a fantastic Negrito. I just knew that through the eyes of this child that I'd discovered the beauty of music. And I, I didn't know what to play. I, I hadn't been playing in, in so long. So I would just play um, him, uh, a song every day. I forgot what was the song. I think it was um, Cross the Universe by, by um, Beatles. And I really didn't know that much about the Beatles, to be honest with you, but I, I saw that song on a TV show and I started learning it. And it was just soothing and a nice lullaby for a child and I'd play it for him every night. I think it's in D. I learned it in D. Yeah, that's that it. Every night I'd be like, Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup. They still as they pass. They still go the universe. However it goes. But I know but I would play that for my son uh, every night. And he'd go to sleep and he thought I wrote the song. <laughs> I haven't played it in years, but I remember. I don't think that's the original key, but that's kind of started connecting me back to music again. And who knew I was gonna go on the streets and start writing songs, you know? I started doing the first song I'd Wrote his fantastic Negrito was Night Eternity, oh Night Eternity. Night Eternity, Lord Mammon, Night Eternity. Night Eternity, oh Night Eternity. Night Eternity, Lord Mammon, Night Eternity. Yeah, that was it. When I wrote that, I was like, oh, I found the path. Oh, I found the sound. I'm connecting, like I said, I'm connecting with those ghosts of Mississippi, those gods of Africa. And I did it all here in the streets of Oakland. And I've stayed true to that. And this is my tribe. And um, 
It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So, so happy about you know, <laughs> the orange couch. I'm not going back down, no. I'm not going back to no work plantation. To grab it all the dream and have it as. Go find a house, ground to stand on. Yeah, well, I'm gonna knock down, no. Yeah, and that's how we did it.